Hey guys, this is Chad back in Mirror's Edge doing the Chapter 4 speed run achievement. This one is, uh, there's a bunch of little tricks that you can do to uh, help boost your time. It is not that difficult of one, pretty much straightforward. So you want to start off, just follow the route like normal. Uh, make sure to hit that pole on the right side or the middle of the left side, you seem to miss it more often. Can't tell you why, hit the button. Head back over the fence so that it's not de electrocuted. Keep going up. Uh, this achievement you need to get in under 9 minutes, and it's not that difficult to do. As long as you follow my guide, I'll climb the building, head to the left, over, make sure to do left bumper, and then use your left trigger so you don't hit the wires there. Over, roll towards the door if you can right there. Head straight to the left as soon as you go in the thing. Turn to the right side right there, and then turn right around and go right back up the thing. Don't waste your time climbing around or anything like that. Head through the fence here, climb up on the right side there. On this part, you turn around, fake, don't face towards that direction, that way you don't grab onto the ledge by accident when that, when that vent drops. Left bumper, right bumper, left bumper trick here, head up. Wall run to the tra I don't know, pole. I was gonna say trip trapeze? Tra uh, trapeze, I don't know. Whatever, roll there, keep going up. There's gonna be a water gate switch they have to do. Make sure LB RB LB trick there. Hold it. Once it goes through, drop down, head under, up the ladder. Head through the door, it'll be a quick cutscene you can skip. Alright, uh, I try and do jump on the barrels there, which, which is what you want to do, but of course she's grabbing on shit that I didn't want her to. But once you're on there, just wall run up to the side. Head straight forward, go to the right of the top, and you get interrupted by this boss. You don't have to worry about him at all. All you have to do is just mash the Y button as soon as he gets to that door. He doesn't penalize you, and it's an easy boss to beat. Place where cutscene, you can skip right there, head back around, turn around, and head to the door. The game will freeze on you right there, loading level. It did happen to me every single time, I'm not sure why. I paused it during it, and then I got a little lost while going through that door, but as soon as you head in, head straight to the first elevator, I hop up the thing and hit the button. And you can head towards the edge, and the elevator's gonna drop, you don't have to worry about it, and you're not gonna get hurt once you reach the bottom, you don't have to jump right like that. It'll make you fall down, but you can get right back up. Drop down, head through the vent. And this is going to drop. Try and roll if you can. I did it sometimes, and other times I did not. It's not a big difference. Head straight to the right, and then as soon as you hop through that door, do the LBRB LB trick. Um, and then head straight to the left, and then down. Didn't have to roll there, I don't know why I did. Head across, wall run up in the there. This is jump the first time. It's a little bit higher than normal, but you can get it. Jump across straight to the left, and then wall run over the wire, over the fence wire. Keep running forward, try and be sprinting this whole time, saving you extra precious seconds that you'll need. Even though this one's not that difficult. Hit the, hit the button, wait for the gate to go up. You shouldn't be shaking a shot out here, so you should be okay there. Try and run full speed as full speed as far as you can here. I sort of will screw up, but whatever. I head straight to the right, just keep running, don't try and fight any guards. At this point, when you see him hop up, pop out, I head to the left. Keep trying to like straight back and forth to the left and right a little bit so you get shot less. Head over the fence as soon as that train passes up the ladder. As long as you're not getting shot a lot, you should be okay. They shouldn't be able to take you out as long as you just keep straight and stuff like that. Turn back around, go on the pole, under the vent. I mess up the jump here. Um, you're, you're supposed to do the, the pole to pole thing, but I mess it up. Um, so you'd hop down. I, she's grabbing on the shit again. I didn't want her to do it again. Just slide underneath them, back up the thing. Like I said, you're gonna have some mess ups here, and this one's this one's pretty forgiving. It's not that hard to do. Once you hit the third little gateway there area, you know, obviously hit the button, turn it back around, missed the roll here. Of course I did. Head back into the drone's closet, and I was about to go, but then I heard the train coming. So wait for the train to pass. You don't want to get killed, obviously. That would that would hurt your time. Keep running forward. I run as far forward as I can here. And then I hop back over to the right side. And then I wait for the train to come because I would not make it all the way there where I'd want to go before the train passed. As soon as the train passes, go as fast as you can because the train will come if you don't get this. Try and get this the first time, it's a little trick here. Don't go up the ladder, do the LBRB LB trick which can get you right over, it saves you a lot of time. Head through the door, jump down, jump down again, head through this part and just go straight to the right, into the corner, LBRB LB, and uh, just check out the scenery. Nice, nice. Yeah, but seriously, don't don't hesitate like I did. That, I wasted a lot of time there. I don't know why I was hesitating, but uh, don't do that. Hit the button, come back around, head underneath the fan, slide, 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 slide. She didn't want to slide. Jump onto the train. Make sure you hit it from the front, from the sides. It will not work. It'll just make, it'll just kill you. 
so make sure you jump on from the front of the train. Once you're on the train here, try and dodge the stuff as much as you can. It can be a little bit difficult at some points. The first part seems to be easy, just hit stay on the left. It's going to tell you to jump over. And then here it gets a little bit more difficult. Uh, it's a pattern, but uh, I messed it up a couple times. It's, it's not going to hurt your time, really, as long as you don't get hit a bunch of times in a row, which shouldn't knock you off the train. I get hit twice, so that's the second time. The train's going to keep going forward, and it's going to hit the end as soon as it, you can tell it's getting towards the end here, like here where it's breaking. Go ahead and turn around and head towards the back and end of the train because you want to jump off as fast as you can. Save extra time. Run forward. Head through the door. Up the thing. The train's going to hit and it's going to make you fall down like here. I thought it was going to make you break and it's a stupid train. Maybe not. It made minutes, but there you go. And you should get the achievement. Alright, thanks for watching.